whenever I'm working the popper, I have a mix of cadences usually until I find one that they really like. Of course, same, almost as though I was working a jerk bait. Got that one. That one wanted it. <laughs> that thing came up like Shamu and clobbered it. Are you kidding me? Oh, buddy, are you kidding? He's got both hooks and he's got a big old bait in his throat. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Post spawners. Look at this fish. It's a classic post spawn fish. I believe we have done a fine job of reading the conditions this morning. Showing up on a whim in the middle of nowhere. And I think we have done a fine job. Look at the fins all beat up and the tail all beat up. And you can see the way that fish just jumped up and smashed that popper. <laughs> How cool is that? That's a chunky good, that's a good fish right there. See you, buddy. <laughs> right in that little shady spot right there. Boosh, came straight up from underneath it. Give him two or three count on the hook set and then blast him with it. The straight braid, you don't even have to hit him that hard. I do have this little fluorocarbon leader this long. And holy smokes, what a deal. And, and actually, guys, this is normally my jerkbait rod. It's six foot eight, medium power, extra fast action, 20 pound braid. Oh man, that was good stuff right there. And the whole thing, I have got to figure it out. You just got to give them time to eat the popper. If one of them misses it, I'll pitch the pitch bait back. If I get something that I really feel good about, I'll throw the pitch bait to it, you know, a piece of cover. But for now, I'm going to take advantage of these shade lines while I've got them. Good Lord, that was a nice fish. <laughs> what a strike. <laughs> what a strike. <laughs> 